Hi everyone, welcome back. In this video, we will discuss one of the important interview questions on Java 8 streams. Well, here is the problem statement. You have a list of employees and you need to group the list of employees by age using Java 8 streams. Okay. So basically, you have a list of employees and you need to group the list of employees by their age using Java 8 stream. Well, Java stream API provides collectors dot grouping by method to group the elements based on certain attributes. Well, this grouping by method basically works like a group by cause in a SQL statement. Okay. So let us go ahead and let us see how to use this collectors dot grouping by method to group the list of employees by their age. Let us go to our project in IntelliJ IDEA and here let's create a new class. Let us give class name as group employees by age. Next within this class, let's create a main method. Well here we are going to group the employees by age. So let us create a employee class. So just type class and then give class name employee. Within employee class, let us define the instance variables. So here private int id and then private string name and then private int age. To keep it simple, let us have these three instance variables. Next, let us create a constructor. Right click generate, choose constructor, select all these fields. Click on OK. Next, create a getter methods to get you know values of these instance variables. So here right click generate and choose getter. Select all these fields. Click on OK. Perfect. Next let us also create a two string method over here. So right click generate two string. Select all these fields. Click on OK. Perfect. Now our employee class is ready. Next go to the main method. Within a main method let's create a list of employees. So here just type list and then pass employee and then give name as employees and here let us use arrays dot as list method to add object to the list and here just pass the employee objects so new employee and then pass id as a one employee name let us give ramesh and then age 30 next let us add a few more employee objects Perfect. Now we have a list of employees. Next, let us see how to group the employees by age. So here, first we need to convert this list into stream. So here, let us call the list that is employees. It has a stream method. So we use stream method to create a stream from this list. So just call this stream method. Next, this stream method basically returns a stream object that contains these employee objects okay so here just call collect method on the stream object and notice your collect method expect the collectors utility class and this collectors utility class basically implements the collector interface okay just call this collect method over here and then pass collectors utility class make sure that you import collectors utility class from java.util.stream package next this collectors utility class has a grouping by method well grouping by method works similar to group by clause in a sql statements and if you can notice here there are three overloaded grouping by methods and we have to use based on our requirement for example in our example we are going to group the employees by age so we have to pass the age as a field to this grouping by method and this grouping by method basically returns a map it contains key value pairs and the key is basically a field name and the value is basically a list of employees okay so here just call this grouping by you know method next let us pass a lambda expression that implements this function interface so here just pass employee as a parameter to the lambda expression followed by lambda symbol and within a lambda body just get the field name that is age so for that just call employee object and then get age well this grouping by method takes age field and it group the list type employees by using this age field and grouping by method returns a map it contains age as a key and the list of employees of the same age as a value okay next this grouping by method returns a map 
so here let us introduce a local variable of type map over here and then pass integer as a key type well here basically the key is age so age is a type of integer so just pass here integer as a type of key and value basically is a list of employees so here just pass the type list and then employee next let us give the variable name map okay next let us iterate over this map and print age and corresponding list of employees so here map it has for each method and then pass key value pair to the lambda expression so here just key comma value and then lambda symbol within a lambda body just put the system dot print statement and print the key so here key key is nothing but age so here let me add the string next here value is nothing but a list of employees okay so here put one more system dot print statement and then here list of employees and then pass value next let us run the program over here and here you can see the output age and the corresponding list of employees so here you can see the age 30 so there are two employees who has age 30 and here also there are two employees who has age 28 and here is the only one employee that has age 35 and here is also one employee that has age 32 so here basically we have grouped a list of employees by their age okay so this this kind of questions you may get in a java interviews the key point here to remember is that the collectors dot grouping by method so this grouping by method works similar to group by clause in a sql statement and remember this grouping by method returns a map it contains key value pairs and key is basically a field name and value is basically a list of elements in this case the key is basically age and the value is list of employees of the same age okay perfect i will see you in the next video